have my brayer and our ink, and I put a strip of ink on this um, styrofoam tray, and then we have our printing plate. We're going to take the brayer, and we're going to barely just dip into the ink. We're going to roll it like this, and roll it back and forth like this. We want it to be smooth. We don't want too much ink. We want it to roll evenly. So it looks like it is fairly even on the brew. You notice I didn't get a huge amount into it. Then we take our printing plate and we're going to roll it. Be careful not to gouge. Gently. We have to dip back into our ink a little bit. Back this way. See how there's a little bit of a lighter spot there? We want to get that to be covered up, so we may have to go back. And we might just dip a little bit into the ink and roll it so it's spread evenly. See how it's, there's too much in the middle? We're going to take care of that and spread it both directions. Okay, and we'll go back on here. want a nice even coat of ink so it will stick to our paper really well. Okay. Do you normally just wash these brushes out in the bathroom? Okay, now we have paper and this is a registration paper I've made for you. Number one it says lay ink plate face up. So we're going to take our plate. It's got ink on it. I'm going to line it up right on that spot, like that. And this is number two. Place your paper on your inked plate. So I'm going to take my yellow paper, and I'm going to line it up very carefully. Number three, rub it evenly. So I'm going to push down on it, and I'm going to rub it. Evenly. Pushing down or gouging it. And lift up. Just a little bit more. And then you carefully peel them apart, and you have a finished print. Now, I still have some ink on this plate, so I am going to run a ghost print. I'll lay that on there, like that. I'm going to place this on there. Again. I'm going to rub evenly. we have a ghost print. Here I have a ghost print and I'm going to take this inked plate and I'm going to put it on here. Now I want to make sure that my chickens are going to line up. I'm going to turn it this way and try to line it up. I can. Turn it over. I'm going to rub very carefully. And then I'm going to peel it off. And there we have a print on top of a print.